Let me set the stage for you. The camera position is located on the deck above the engines. The engine closest to us is diesel generator number six, and that's where we had the fire. It's interesting to note that there's a crew member with his back to the camera working on the engine next to number six. And fortunately, he was not hurt in the explosion you're soon going to see. If you look closely, you can just see the first small traces of smoke rising from diesel generator number six. You'll also be able to see that the crew member in the background will soon become aware of the smoke and will turn and face the camera. And there you have it, an explosive fire. The clock's now ticking and things are happening, as you know, in the engine control room. But as you'll see, very shortly, they will have released the high fog system. And you'll be able to clearly see the discharge from the top portion of your screen. And here it comes. As you'll see, the fire is quickly knocked down, but the high fog system remains on even after the fire appears to be out. As you can see, the fire is still flashing up And that flash up right there is the last one we're going to see. And right about now, it appears to be out from the position of the closed circuit television camera. Let's now take a look at the costs associated with the Explorer of the Seas fire. Well, there's not a lot to look at. There was a sensor replacement required, $500. And that was the total cost of the entire event.